Hey Aro, this is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So just going through and seeing what we can find from more vision painting. So at first I started off by putting in more vision painting and then Easton PA. So I guess because you're in a, uh, kind of the area, it popped you up over here. This is what we call a GMB. Um, there is no website here, unfortunately. Uh, so uh, th that gets a little bit more fun. Um, but then I did something a little bit more fun. I switched you guys over to um, Slatinton. Let's see what happens. So we got Slattington, PA, it'll help out and fix it. So we still got you over here. And if I actually do something like this, so instead of just putting you guys in and I do painters, which is, by the way, something like this is called a buyer intent keyword, which is, um, so a keyword is what anyone can put into Google, which is what I just did. And then painters Slattington is called a buyer intent because it's location specific and it's buyer and it's a, it's service specific. So they're looking for um, specifically you in a specific location. Now here's where it gets a little fun, right? This is called the GMB or Google My Business Profile. The big thing about this is, is that you have about a 30 to 40% chance to get anyone to click on your stuff over here the problem is is that you don't have a website and these guys don't even have uh directions now this area is a lot smaller is is small so i'm going to assume that it's like partially it's just going to be you know slattington is one and then you're going to look at more allentown uh as more of like the the areas around so i'm going to go ahead and assume a lot of people are probably just going to you know be focusing a lot on allentown painting and not just slattington or uh you know lehigh valley stuff like that um so you not having a website actually hurts your prospects of getting clients through your website because I can't even, honestly, I can't even do uh, an analysis of that because, well, it's just really hard to do that. Um, but you do have good, you do have photos in there, which is good. You do have some reviews. We should be, I hope you responding to them. You have your address, your hours, good. So at least you're doing better than some uh, thing is uh only you know this but in the about us section definitely have you know 750 plus characters in there but anyway let's take a look at what happens when i put in something like uh in a larger area right so i put in painters allentown pa right so right off the bat we got an ad over here if you do it correctly they can be very helpful for quick leads if you do it incorrectly it can actually hurt you guys by because you'll be spending a lot of money same thing with the ad over here but then all of a sudden we got over here, uh, we have your GMB, like I said before. So one of the, anyone typing Allentown, Painters Allentown PA, 30 to 40% of them will click on one of these guys. We got Yelp, Angie's List as your in your uh, top two searches in your organic search. Now people will probably skip over these in favor of, you know, going with somebody who's a lot more uh, local, such as maybe this guy, uh, Culp Painting. Unfortunately, they're not number one, which means we're going to go with Wow One Day Painters. Now, they are a franchise, yes. They own, they, they, they're they everywhere. So that's just kind of the way it is. But their uh, big problem is, is that they are a 888 number. People don't like that. People want to see local. So it's definitely a, a plus if you have that. Schedule of free consultation, zip codes. People don't like going through a lot of this stuff. But again, they're still number one. They're franchised. They're probably a little less expensive than most people are because they're franchised. So that's where it gets a little fun because they do like so many areas. But, you know, December, color of the month, peaceful. I don't know why they aren't talking about pumpkin spice. But as we scroll through, uh, they're talking a little bit more about what they do. Um, now, anytime you have a website, you want to talk about what you do. Always. You don't want to just put them in like this, right? These are, are links to their pages, but you want to actually talk about what the services are. Give a paragraph to each one. The more content you have on your homepage, the better it is for you. Honestly speaking, if you have about 1,500, 2,000 words of content on your homepage, Google really likes that. And in there, you want to embed buyer intent keywords and keywords in general. So, you know, while one day they got a decent website, not really gonna say much on them. Their UR rating, which is basically how much Google likes this page, is 14, which is okay. And they have a DR rating of 54, which is a trust rating with Google as well. Now, they have a lot more backlinks than this, right? A backlink is where you have this link somewhere else that somebody can click on it and it'll come back to you. And now uh, when it comes back to you, that's what a referring domain is. So they have probably this website and page linked to all the other websites um for wow one day painting now um they also only have 19 organic keywords now again i did not search for uh wow one day painting dot one day dot com i did this is like a secondary or third page actually because you have uh wow one day painting dot com then you have locations and then you have house painting allentown so this is a third page that's ranking as number one in the allentown area but let's look at the the keywords they're ranking for right painting allentown pa 40 people a month search for it they're getting four people about 10 percent because they're positioned five 
Um, positioning is very important. This is the traffic they're getting. So they're getting four for this keyword over here, but you have interior painting, Lehigh Valley PA, 100 people search for that. They're getting four people a month because they're barely on the first page. So what you really want is you want to be on page number one and you want to be top three. Otherwise, you might not really get that much traffic for that. Painting PA, by the way, is a great example of an international keyword because anyone in the state of Pennsylvania can search for painting PA. It's not going to help them out. Yeah, there's 100 people a month searching for it, but odds of them getting anyone who's in the area is zero uh, or very close to zero. So how does this really help you guys out? So you got the GMB. I would say probably optimize it a lot better. Get yourself a website because you're going to start hitting yourself. Uh, you know, uh, you're going to start getting a lot more traffic through your GMB. If your website's up there now, I don't know how many people are in Slattington and searching for for painting or if it's coming from other areas. That's something that you have to, you know, we can talk about at a later date. But if you really wanted to really succeed with a website, take out the competition, which doesn't seem to be much uh, going on over there, is build a website. All your services on there, probably about seven to eight pages big, not a big website at all. And then get those con get the content on there, fill your, your website with the proper content that talks about the services you're offering, talks about the proper keywords and get the keywords in there. If you do all four of those things, starting off with building the website, then you will start seeing a lot more, uh, um, you'll, you'll utilize an additional tool that can help you increase your business. Um, but that's all I got, Ara. I really hope this was uh, helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. If you uh, have any feedback, I would definitely like to know that as well. You have a good one. Bye.